Chris from 40 Thrive. I'm supplementing, and I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan, but supplementing has its place. So first off, in an ideal world, I'd rather follow the protocols of someone like Dr. Anthony Chafee, who strictly just eats meat, just gets his calories from just meat. And that's really where I wanna be. But even a year now into my keto lifestyle, and there's still an adjustment, and I've enjoyed the benefits of intermittent fasting, I've enjoyed the benefits of being able to uh, uh, shorten my eating window, uh, go, go prolonged times uh, without eating, uh, not have to experience such dramatic blood sugar spikes, but the problem is um, I'm getting too skinny, or I was too skinny, uh, I'm not getting the opportunities to eat just due to my busy lifestyle as a business owner. One of the fastest ways to put on more weight is to uh, drink your calories, which is one of the main reasons why we suffer from a lot of obesity uh, in today's society because most people are getting their calories from beverages where calories don't really belong but that's where supplementing comes into play. So what am I supplementing with? I'm supplementing with uh, whey protein isolate, with cocoa powder, uh, with PB Fit dehydrated peanuts, um, as well as collagen peptides. And there's reasons why I'm doing each one. The whey protein isolate is because I'm working out and I'm trying to put on more muscle. Uh, the cocoa powder uh, helps uh, suppress another hormone that actually prevents us from putting on muscle. So I'm, I'm taking cocoa powder. I'm also taking the collagen peptides uh, because that also uh, is, is good for uh, joint health, uh, for muscle repair. Uh, and uh, I'm leaving something out here. Is that it? Oh, and I'm also taking creatine. Um, so what does that all that look like? That much. Now I can't just I can't just add a little bit of liquid to that and expect that to dissolve and then I can drink it. So now, now what do I got to do? I got to break out the the blender, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, you got to take it apart to clean it. Uh, it doesn't matter how well you clean it. You're always going to look at it the next time you break it out of the cabinet and like oh what's, I got to give it another wash. I always got to remember what order to put it back together in. I know I'm an idiot. So I'm not a huge fan of supplementing. Now my hope is that by the time I work through maybe most of these containers, I will have hit a target of where I want to be. Um, I'm hoping maybe I can correct my eating schedule so that I don't have to supplement as much. That's the goal here. The goal here, because what do I get on here and talk about mostly. Don't eat processed stuff. And all of this is processed. I should be able to get all of this, all of this nutrition from just eating a whole uh, complete food like red meat. So even after I make this smoothie, I'm going to go to the brewery where I've got a steak waiting for me. I've got some spinach and some feta waiting for me. I'm still gonna eat again on top of that. And I want to talk to you about a couple different things I'm experiencing. And this is why when you make changes in your life, you make single isolated changes so you can trace where uh, some of the side effects uh, might be coming from. So for example, I am consuming a lot more spinach, which I've been warned contains oxalates. I'm consuming uh, this PB Fit, very processed. As far as I know, the uh, lectins uh, during this process are largely removed. However, it does contain a small amount of uh, carbohydrates, a little bit of sugar in there as well. Not terrible. Um, okay, so right there, I'm introducing a couple new factors. And what have I been experiencing? I'm a little more stiff in the mornings. Uh, I feel a little more inflammation in my joints and hands. It usually disappears throughout the day, but I don't know what to track that back to. Is it is it the uh, um, it could it be the the dehydration? Could it be um, the the PB fit? Could it be 
uh, the oxalates and the spinach and all that. So my goal here is to get myself to an optimum weight and then try to maintain that weight eating nothing but straight meat. I don't want to have to keep supplementing. Uh, but like, like I said, it has its place. Um, it's great after a workout. It is a satisfying flavor. Um, and I'm, I'm uh, fairly confident that this is going to help me reach my, my goals as far as um, not looking like I'm uh, so emaciated um, you know, I'd like to, like to be able to fill out a shirt a little bit better. So I'm going to make this smoothie and I'll let you know how it turns out. Let's not forget that I'm not just eating those powders. I have to put it into something. Uh, I don't have any coconut milk on hand. Uh, so I got to use some whole organic milk, which I'm, I'm okay with that once in a while. Um, I also want to add a little bit of uh, whole fat Greek yogurt to this as well. Um, hopefully I'm not overdoing it here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm seeing where this goes. I'm learning here. Another reason why I'm not a huge fan of making smoothies is it's easy to go overboard. You start thinking of like, oh, well, you know, why don't I add a little bit of this and that? Uh, like I have avocados I could add. Well, one time I made myself a smoothie and I don't know if it was just the air bubbles from all the circulation or if I just overdid it on the calories and the fats but I just had so much intestinal discomfort after that I really put myself out for like the rest of the day and the whole point of this is to feel better not not to take yourself out of commission so I'm gonna slowly start adding in some of these ingredients I'm gonna try not to go too overboard and we'll see how things turn out if it looks like it's a little too thick or too aerated then you know, I'm going to sip it slowly throughout the day rather than just like guzzle it. Um, but here we go. I'm just going to, we're just going to do this. All right. So first things first, I don't want to put empty some of that out. I don't want to put my, uh, there's got to be a better way to do this Hold one. Phone is precariously balanced above the sink. What can go wrong? So I don't want to add this entire bunch of dry powder into a uh, empty blender. Again, I'm, I'm just doing this. All this is just extra protein. I don't eat nearly enough throughout the day. So we're going to hope that, that this actually just fills in some of the gaps in my diet. So in goes, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll call that about eight ounces of milk. All right. I got the yogurt in there. So we're just gonna we're just gonna incorporate that together such a pain in the ass. All right, I'm just gonna stir. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and add in. Oh, that's not gonna work. It's too much. All right, in she goes. All that. what can go wrong. I think we're okay. All right. <laughs> this is riveting content as I get phone calls from bill collectors interrupting also. Anyway. <clears throat> That 
sounded like it like thickened up there while it was stirring. But um, but you saw all that go in there, all that powder. So I do like the flavor of the PB Fit. Um, let's see how well that's that's incorporated. I don't want to over blend this because then you get in, you get all these air bubbles, and then when you drink that, oh my god, stomach pain like you wouldn't believe. So that is four scoops of the whey protein isolate. Uh, that is also four scoops of, and scoops are roughly about a tablespoon, maybe a little more, uh, of the collagen peptides, a scoop of the baking cocoa. Uh, and I do two scoops, which is the recommended dosage of the PB Fit as well. Um, what I could also add to this, I forgot, is, uh, why don't I just do that? We'll just add that back in. Um, if you really want to give this the consistency or flavor of a, sort of like a latte, those fancy fruit fruit drinks, you can feel free to incorporate in splash or two of coffee just for some added flavor there's just a lot you can do here and it's it's just so easy to go overboard um, it helps when you have a super tiny small kitchen too So we're going to go in for a taste here. Oh god. So it's it's easy to understand why a lot of these protein shake companies and a lot of these big companies that make the smoothies add in so much fruit and sweeteners and all that stuff because yeah I get a nice flavor from the chocolate and the peanut butter in there but there's zero sweetness to this whatsoever this is a, a plain protein isolate and I will say one thing about this company yeah the price is right your bags suck I cannot reseal this bag to save my life. Even when you think you got it, it should not be this freaking hard. So that, that's why I, I'm not a fan of the supplementing, guys. It's messy. Right out the gate, when you open up these packets, powders flying everywhere. I mean, this makes me feel like an incompetent little child trying to s spend 15 minutes trying to get this bag shut. Okay, there. It took me like, oh, look, it's still open. Um, no, just no. I'm going to go through this bag and I think I'm going to get away from supplementing. I don't think it's worth it. You should be getting all your, if I was smart, I would just have more steaks on hand. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work through this, this supply. This is a pain in the ass, as you saw. I mean, granted, I'm trying to, to film, uh, videos while I'm doing it, um, but this was a pain. Yeah, I think the answer here is more fatty red meat and uh, just start cooking a steak after the workout. It's just, that's just all there is to it. Cheers, keep thriving.